When developing ASP.NET multiple files web application, we shall find, if we go to the Solution Explorer, over here, two source code files. This one and this one. Here, if I select a button, for example, and go to the events option and here in the click I place um, the name of the function I want to be executed. When the button is pressed, executed on the server side, then the outcome would be an additional method a stub we can continue and develop here in this file. Pay attention that this file includes the definition of web form 1. This is the auto-generated class for our web page. Partial modifier allows a class definition to be split across multiple files. This is the first file. This is the second file auto-generated for us as well that includes fields for each one of the controls. Here is the field for the form for the text box, this is the other text box, and this is the button. As you can see here, there is a definition of web form 1 using partial, just as in this file. There is a third file, third file we can't see, where additional code is auto generated for us. This is what happens when developing a web application in ASP.NET using the default multiple files model.